In today's video, I'm going to be going to five football matches in only 50 hours. The challenge starts with a 3pm match at Alfreton. Then we have only two hours to get all the way to Liverpool. Next, an early kickoff watching Aston Villa women. Then we're going to rush off before the match ends to make it to Manchester City. Finally, it's my team, Sheffield Wednesday, in the biggest game of our season. And we're joined by a special guest. But if literally anything goes wrong with travelling in between games, then this whole challenge could fail. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've just arrived at Alfreton FC Stadium. Don't know if you can really call it a stadium. I've seen sheds bigger than this. Kickoff is in 30 minutes, and as soon as the whistle blows, the challenge. The challenge officially begins. This is Alfreton's final league game against bottom of the league, Geesley, Geese, Geesley, Geesley? We bought our tickets and went to find a seat, which wasn't exactly hard. There was more seats than people. And just like that, the challenge officially begins. This is gonna be a mental next 50 hours. 50 hours, crazy. Over the next 50 hours, we're gonna be watching some of the best footballers in the world. But if you're wondering about the standard of football in this game, I think this clip sums it up best. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. That's gonna smash someone's window. People in them houses behind the goal must be absolutely sh themselves whenever these lot play. <laughs> I say half time. Just like that, the half time whistle blew, and it was time for the first high review of the video. We've been stood in the queue for about 20 minutes. About one person's been served. We might not be able to complete the challenge. We might be finishing Starving. the video early here. Yeah. This better be the best pie in the world. We're there, we've done it. Thank you. Three, two, one. That's good. That's good. Hell yeah, man. Right, Morgan, you said your pie were good. I've got gravy with mine. Was it worth the wait? Definitely. Hell yeah, man. That is a good pie. Match day pie? 3.5? 3.5. 3.5 from us. Now, this is where all hell broke loose. The Geasley away fans spotted me and Martin. Fans are definitely getting a five out of five just for that chance. And then out of nowhere, bottom of the league, Geasley got a penalty and scored. <laughs> Alfreton one 0 down against bottom of the league, Geasley. That's insane. And where we go? Morgan is a lion. <laughs> One word for those fans, Martin. Mad. Now, to make the next 50 hours even more difficult, we're going to have a challenge to complete at every stadium before we can move on to the next. Right, so the first challenge we need to complete before we can move on to the next match is to down a pint. Sounds easy, but I'm a little bitch. I don't drink pints, so this isn't going to be easy for me. Cheers, Martin. Cheers, Morgan. Here we go. Ah, I hate pints. Now, here is where the match took a turn. Go! It's a goal back for Alfred and it's 1-1. This match is about to end in five minutes and we've got to get all the way to Liverpool for kickoff in two hours and 45. So I think we need to go right now. We left the game two minutes early to beat the traffic. And just as we got in the car, it turns out Alfreton scored with the last kick of the game. So that means we sat through 90 minutes of hoofball up to a 37-year-old striker just to miss the winning goal. Sick. The first game gets a final score of 12 out of 20. Martin, are you ready for the next game? Yeah, I am. Where are we going, Morgan? We're going to watch Liverpool at Anfield. Liverpool? There's no way I'm, I'm going to Liverpool. No way. Why? Can you understand that accent? <laughs> Gerard, Gerard, it's Gerard, not Gerard. Find someone else, I'm not going. <sighs> I had only two hours to get from Alfreton to Liverpool and nobody to drive me there. Luckily though, I have a mate who's a lifelong Liverpool fan who agreed to drive me. Right guys, just in time, we found an emergency driver to Liverpool. It's my private Uber right here. This is ridiculous. The things I do for this guy, and I get nothing for it. Hey, let's get to Liverpool. Let's go, let's go. Now what he doesn't know is I'm actually going to be surprising him with a ticket to watch the game with me. We arrived at Anfield literally two minutes before kickoff, but before we went in, it was time for the surprise. I got two tickets. For me? Yeah. Well, who else am I going to take? Oh, we're going to... oh, having a few pints. The game's kicking off in two minutes. Do you want to go yeah. or not? Let's go. Now, this is a huge game. Liverpool against Spurs. Liverpool need to win to keep the pressure on Man City for the Premier League title, and Spurs need to win to try and get top four to get in the Champions League. We'd only been in the stadium a few minutes, and I already knew the fans were a five out of five. It was so loud in there. Outside, outside, 
this is a Morgs prediction. This is going to be a goal. Oh, this is going to be a goal. Oh, my post! Now Liverpool started piling on the pressure with chance after chance. just could not score but meanwhile we had a challenge to complete we came inside because we've got to complete the challenge and the challenge for this match is we have to order from the bar in a scouse accent mm. and i cannot do scouse accent so this is going to be bad yeah like mate uh, can i get a guinness please thank you thank you very much that is absolutely vile as well. Fancy a pine? Yeah. Sure. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the pie review. It doesn't really look great, but it's not about the look, it's about the taste. Hey, you know what? I'm very impressed. Liverpool pies? I'm gonna give them a three out of ten. Decent, but not quite as good as Alpha Jim. I'm the new Gordon Ramsay, baby. I'm the new group of viewer in town. Gold to Spurs. And now Liverpool needed two goals to win the match and keep the pressure on Man City. Then, Luis Diaz happened. <laughs> this was it. 20 minutes left for Liverpool to get one more goal. Could they do it? I'm used to watching League One football, so I've never seen football that good in person. Boys, boys. All right, no problem. <laughs> Kicked out. Oh. As I was trying to say, the football was easily 5 out of 5, which means the game gets a total score of 17 out of 20. Now that's going to be tough to beat. Guys, it's 3.49 a.m. I'm up at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for the next match, which means I've got a whopping five hours sleep. I just about managed to wake up in time, and it was time to head off to the next game. Aston Villa versus Birmingham, but not the men's teams, the women's teams. And I knew the perfect person to bring along. Listen here, I'm Villa Women's firm leader. I've got my Stone Island on, and if any Birmingham fans want to scrap, I'm here. I'll chef you up, big man. Now, as I walked into Villa Park, to be honest, there was just one thing on my mind. Were we going to hear the famous chant? Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it. First time at a football game. And uh, Morgan, what colour are we supporting? What? Are they blue or purple? What? You can't say that out loud. You're going to get knocked out. Purple? Purple. Purple, OK. Yeah! Which way are we shooting? I don't know anything! Oh! oh. No, it's a goal! Yeah! No! 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 no. That's bad. no. Ten minutes into the game, bottom of the league, Birmingham, 1-0 up against Villa. This is actually insane. Right, Mum, what would you rate the stadium out of five? I don't know. I've got nothing to compare it to. I'd say five. I think it's pretty good. You're going for five? Yeah, but when you walked in, all them food cups looked amazing, didn't they? Food I'm not on amazing. about the food options. I'm on about the actual stadium. It's ni nice colours, but blue purple, nice seating. <laughs> We'll give it a four. Right, boys and girls, it's half time right now, and that means it's time for the main reason I'm here, the pie review. They didn't have any meat, so this is a vegetarian curry pie. I'm too excited for this. You ready? You know what, guys? I do love meat in my mouth, but you know, maybe sometimes you don't need it because that tastes decent. As you guys know, I do love meat in my mouth. No meat in this, unfortunately, so I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of 10. It was time for the second half, and Mum knew exactly what to do to fire up the players. Come on, Villa! If they go and score now, that's all that's you. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fans were pretty quiet, and I was starting to think we were never going to hear the famous chant until finally it happened. <laughs> Mum, I know you're very knowledgeable about the sport. What would you rate the standard of football you've seen today out of five? Three. I think that's fair. Guys, I've been I'll pretty impressed. Three. I ain't gonna lie, I've been impressed. Full time here at Villa. Finished 1 0 to Birmingham. I can't believe it. Now we've got to get straight off because we've got another match to go to, obviously. Final score for Aston Villa Birmingham 10.5 out of 20. But before we could leave to Manchester, we had a challenge to complete run a lap around Aston Villa's stadium. Right, Mum, kickoff in Manchester is in two and a half hours. So this isn't a jog, this is a sprint. Let's go. Ah! 
<laughs> oh my god, why the hell are we doing this? <laughs> We're a quarter of the way there. Can't I just down another pint instead? This is a stupid challenge idea. You know what? Screw this, bro. Oh, oh no, no, no. Come on. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, challenge complete. We've done the lap. Whew. At least I burn off some of the calories from all the pies in this video. Now off to Manchester. The next game is Manchester City versus Newcastle. With Liverpool only drawing the Spurs, if Man City win, they go three points clear at the top of the table. The journey was going fine. It was all looking good. However, it started to look unlikely that we were going to make it to the game because this happened. Guys, we may have a problem. We're on the motorway on the way to Manchester and we've got some sort of traffic. Oh dear. Seriously, something like this could ruin the entire challenge and there's literally nothing we can do about it but pray that it clears off estimated arrival time has gone from 4 p.m to 4 25 five minutes before kickoff we might actually be here guys finally the traffic started to clear and we arrived <laughs> We're not even in yet, and I can already hear the atmosphere. I thought the atmosphere was crap at the Etihad. It sounds buzzing in there. Walking into the stadium was amazing. We had some of the best seats in the house, and it didn't take long for Man City to take the lead. Yeah! And then score again. Yeah! It's a goal! The challenge for this game was to find a Manchester City fan that watched my channel. So we headed inside the stand, and then this happened. Definitely completed that challenge. That challenge was a lot easier than I expected. But now it's time for the second half, and what better way to start than somebody getting absolutely clattered? City subbed on Phil Foden, and then minutes later, he did this. That was it now, 4-0 City. Surely they couldn't score again, right? Yeah! Oh, Honestly, the football was an absolute joy to watch. Screw it, I'm gonna give him a six out of five. I don't even care, I, I, I break my own rule. Guys, full time, 5-0 to City. What a win after a massive loss in the Champions League. They've bounced back. Anyway, more importantly, it's time for the pie review. You didn't think I forgot, did you? I ain't gonna lie, that is decent. Feel a four out of 10. Nice, bro, that's one of the nicest ones so far. My diet over these last few days have literally just been pies. And you know what? I'm loving it. Now it had been another long day at football, but the challenge wasn't done yet. We had one more game, and for me, it was the biggest game of them all. My team Sheffield Wednesday in the League One playoff semi-final against Sunderland. I wasn't going alone. Right, we're just pulling up to the ground right now. We've got the special guest here. Ooh. Whee! It's me. How are we doing? Let's go, boys and girls. Theo's here. Now, to be honest, guys, I was absolutely shitting myself. So I got some drinks in to try and calm the nerves. And just like that, the final game began. What's the challenge, you ask? To watch the game without crying. Either tears of joy or tears of sadness. You'll find out soon. I made it to the game. I am still absolutely to myself. Not a lot really happened in the first half, apart from a lot of screaming from me. First corner of the game. One chance! I think I'm gonna give the fans a four out of five, just from all the shouting I did. Still nil nil, so I'm a little bit nervous, still. But we've got a pie, we've got to have the pie review, ladies and gentlemen, the final pie of the video. This is intense. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Hey, you know what? Yeah. I'm not just saying this because it's Wednesday. Five out of five, <laughs> best pie of the video. Boss. That was good, man, that was good. Number one. Second half just kicked off. I've got a pint of cider. The free double whiskey's well enough. I'm still nervous, I need to ease the nerves. Come on, Wednesday. The second half started with a huge miss from Sheffield Wednesday. Look at that, so close. Fucking ball. We kept on attacking and attacking until finally we scored. <laughs> We've done it guys, we got the goal and we were taking them to extra time. And all we need to do was survive 10 more minutes of added time. Easy, 
right? Right guys, 1-1, one, one, which means Sunderland are going to Wembley, Sheffield Wednesday are out. Final score, 15.5 out of 20. And just when I thought I couldn't get more upset, I worked it out and it turns out we actually went over the 50 hour time limit. I thought the Sheffield Wednesday game was a 3pm kickoff, but it was 7.45, which means we went over. So feel free to call me a fraud in the comments. And if we get 50,000 likes on this video, I'll do this challenge again and make sure we do it in less than 50 hours.